G'day viewers, welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. This week I'm doing this Matchbox Super Fast Rough Trek, which of course is just the Holden Ute slash pickup that I've done before. This is one of the later iterations of it. Uh, when Matchbox in their infinite wisdom decided they could get a little bit more mileage out of the casting. So I have to apologize for the quality of the voiceover, not the content, just the audio <laughs> audio quality uh, the jack on my phone's broken i can't plug my microphone into it so you're going to have to suffer this lower quality and i'm apologize for that so let's get crack a lacken as they say in somewhere and see if we can't turn this one around i started taking some good square on images of the car so i could digitally edit the decals and then i thought i was filming myself doing it and I discovered after an hour and a half of editing that I hadn't actually recorded it. So you just have to believe me that I restored the decals, but I did, and you'll see the results soon. So after I get it all pulled apart, I can strip the paint like this, ta-da! And then I use my little hook to get all those little tiny bits that get stuck in all those hard to reach places. This is my brass brush. And I polish it up with the 3M wheels and gave a little bit more of a brush. And everything's looking ready for paint. So I'm tapping, threading the front post. The rear two posts are too shallow, so I'm just gonna have to super glue them in. Now put some primer on. I'm using some of that exclusive white to me, a white spray paint that I used on the Thunderbird. <laughs> Looking good. Now I'm using some of the black to me, a black paint. It's nice and glossy. And have a look at this. You can go swimming in that. Ooh. So here's the reproduction decals I made myself, giving them a cut and they came out really good. Now, as always, if you'd like a set of these or you'd like the files sent to you, I'm more than happy to help you out. I don't think you can get reproductions of these ones. Maybe I should start selling them. But anyway, in the process of restoring them, I also corrected the register because they're obviously applied in three stages on the originals and they very rarely get the blue to line up where it should and there's all white gaps. So on these reproduction decals, they're um, they're all lined up and they all look, well, they look too good really. I don't think I've ever seen an original one that was this applied that neatly at the factory. But anyway, beggars can't be choosers and, well, actually, no, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, once I got done tangled and laid on, I think they look really good. So here I'm using the finest Underwood tap water, warmed up to a reasonable heat so I can scrub all the interior parts clean. You're welcome. I usually use a semi-gloss black on the wheels, but I used a full gloss black and then I'm using a one mil Oloto pen to do the finer details on the wheels. So I tried making my own replacement bull bar, tried making money out of styrene, I tried using a bent paper clip and it looked crap every time. So I stole the spotlights off this Escort and I stole KC at Metal Mania 3D's idea of replacing the bull bar with spotlights. I don't know if these are the ones he uses, but anyway, they're the ones I've used. Um, you 3D printer guys, if you could make just a reproduction of the bull bar and the roll cage, my roll roll bar was okay, but um, the bull bar on the front, oh, you'd sell a million of them. Um, maybe someone already does it and I don't know. If you know someone who is making them, let me know. Same with the little bikes for the back. I've seen repros, I've bought repros, but I saw somebody had some 3D printed ones. I just don't know where they come from. Anyway. Okay, reassembly time. 
I'm going to start by clipping that thing in, if I can hold it and not drop it. We'll be a little bit closer to the end. So a bit of super glue on the back to hold it together and I did clamp it for a little bit after this and then I'll just screw the front one in. So I just got to glue these spotlights in and as if by magic we are done. I did detail them a bit more yeah, but we're still done. Hooray! So here we are back at the start with our, you know, not completely awful rough trek. I've seen these and KC and Johnny V will back me up um, in a lot worse shape. They're nearly always missing that tyre thing on the back, the, the roll cage, the bull bar. They've usually been thrashed to within an inch of their life, these things. I really, I really wish I could have done a better job of re reproducing the bull bar and you know, I guess one day if somebody starts making them, I'll, I'll have another go and replace it then. But until that time, the spotties will have to do. So this is what we started with, and this is what we're left with now. Whoa! Looking a million bucks now, even if it doesn't have a ball bar. Uh, the spotlights idea is a great idea as a substitute. Uh, thanks for that idea, KC. Uh, I didn't repaint the tyre thing in the back, I thought it was in pretty good shape, and I didn't paint the roll cage either. It could have done with a coat of red paint, but it wouldn't look like it's supposed to look like anymore, so... Anyway, I'm really pleased with this one. Uh, thank you again, this is another generous donation from Gerard and Renee. We're going to have a lot more of Gerard and Renee's uh, cars on the channel in the coming months. So thanks a lot guys, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. So it is a bit of a postscript to this restoration. You may or may not recall the last um, donations to the channel video I did uh, when Renee provided me this one, but she also had a dig in the bucket and by chance brought this guy in, the Chevy Pro Stocker. Uh, you'll notice it matches the Ute. And that's when I was reminded that you could actually get these in a set with a convoy truck. Um, so I said, oh, Renee, there's no, you didn't happen to see a truck in there, massive bucket. She goes home, comes into work the next day, bingo. So we have the full set. Uh, so I'm going to restore all of them. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do a double video for the stocker and the truck. I'll just do them all together to finish them off. Uh, let me know what you'd rather. The beauty of this is, as many of you convoy collectors will know, is all the stacks haven't been snapped off it. And the bumpers on these are notorious for getting snapped off at the edges. It's all here. It's a bit rough, but it is complete. So I'll give it a little rest before I get into that video. Anyway, thanks again, Gerard and Renee. My first run of shirts nearly all gone. I'm completely out of 2XL, so thanks for the support, everybody. Thanks for dropping by, everybody. I apologise again for the poor quality of the audio on my voice. Um, I can't apologise for the poor quality of the content, because well, we know it's like that every week. Um, but I appreciate you all watching. Um, Check out some of my other videos if you'd like. Give it a thumbs up and a share if you you know you feel it was worth it. And if you really liked it, would like to come back and see some more, why not subscribe? I have a new video every Friday at 9.15. I'd love to see you back. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves.
and each other. This is PB signing up. I'll see you next week, everybody. Bye.